life with a new book about science and space written by local astronomer Dean Rigas. Our buddy Dean joins us in studio this morning to talk about that book and not just any book, National Geographic Kids. Dean, this is a big deal. Oh, I'm excited. This is a project I've been working on for a long time and uh, it's a book that has 1,000 facts from all around the universe. We talk about planets, stars, galaxies, black holes, uh, astronomy history, I love and it. it's real approachable for all ages. How did, did you approach National Geographic Kids? Did they approach you? How did, how did it all come together? Well, they've been hearing about kind of the stuff I've been doing in Cincinnati with the Cincinnati Observatory, yeah. and uh, they it, I'm kind of like a regional resource with this. Uh, and so they heard about some of the projects I've been doing, yeah. and they approached me with this, wow. and uh, this is a, this is the, the result. It's really cool. Good for you, man. Good for you. So, thousand facts about space. There are millions of facts about space. How did you whittle it down to a thousand? Well, uh, so the way it worked was the first 500 were a piece of cake. I have them, <laughs> I have them all up here. Yeah. And then when I got to about 990, I was like, oh man, I need to like really dig deep for these things. Um, and so we added some things about like human space travel too. Oh, cool. So there's like some interesting facts about, you know, people when they went to the moon, things that they brought with them, that kind of stuff. The first yeah. things that were said on places. Um, I think my favorite one is that an astronaut stowed away a sandwich in his spacesuit. How you can fit it in your spacesuit and they pulled it out and offered it to his, his buddy next to him. They got in big trouble. Did they you know, really? They got in huge trouble. That's yeah, yeah. a no no. You don't stow sandwiches on spaceships. That's good to know. <laughs> That's a good tip. Well, as I said, that allows for a volume two at some point, too, because as you follow the natural course of people going to space, hopefully we're going to see a lot more of that soon. Wait, are you proposing a more thousand facts I'm, from I'm space? I'm just saying, I'm just, right. I'm, I'm just floating an idea. Out National to Geographic, let's talk more. more, more well, let's do this one first. We'll do this one first. Okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, when, when you were a kid, did you have something? similar to this that, ins that inspired you? Oh yeah, there was always those uh, those hardcover books that you got in school, in elementary school, yep. about the planets, about uh, weather especially, and this is right in that kind of uh, that kind of genre. And it's, uh, yeah, it's one of those things where you can pick up to flip to any page, learn a new fact every day, and it's got really great pictures that go with it too. That's great. They really delved into the archive of NASA pictures and even more. I'm going to, I'm going to take a look right now and just kind of Look at this. Like, for instance, here are 25 starry facts about galaxies and just sort of breaking it all down for you. Really, if you have, if you have a young person in your life who has an interest at all uh, in, in space, what a, what, a great, what a great Christmas present uh, this could be. Speaking, speaking of the kids and Christmas and having a few weeks off school and all that, you were talking about National Geographic has kind of heard what you do around here at the Cincinnati Observatory. Anything coming up for the kids over the next several weeks? Well, we got a big event on Wednesday night, so okay. this is still, school's still in session, but we have the moon going in front of the planet Mars. It's called an occultation, super rare. I've never seen seen it in my entire life. Wow. And it is pretty cool. So Mars is this big bright red light out in the eastern sky and the moon is going to slide right in front of it. So I don't, I haven't heard about the weather forecast the for Wednesday. But occultation. Yes. I've never heard of that one before yeah, at so all. It's a super rare event. It's kind of like an eclipse. Uh, we'll have information on our website, cincinnatiobservatory.org, about cool. time and when to see it. Uh, and then over the, the holiday break, uh, the winter sky is out there for all to see. We've got Jupiter out there. We've got Saturn to look at. We've it got Mars to look at. It tends to feel crisper and clearer. I don't know if that's the case or not, but that's, that's how it feels to me for some oh, reason. Oh, yeah. So, like, on Saturday, we had a big event called Marsapalooza when Mars is closest to Earth. And it was just so nice and clear, and we could see all that stuff out there. Um, so it's a great chance to get out and do some stargazing. Yeah. And, and the observatory has some online programs that people can make use of and some in-person ones ones too. That's nice. In case it gets kind of cold, you're looking for something to do. That sounds about perfect. I have to ask you now about this, this occultation. Am I saying that right? Occultation, yeah. When it, when it, is it, is it a, it does it look like a dot going in front of the red or is it bigger than that? Yeah, so you have the moon here, the Mars will be right next to it, and then the moon will just go right in front of it, snuff out the light just like that. So wow. it'll be a red light there and then all of a sudden gone. Oh, see, that's and it'll be cool. gone for 32 minutes behind the moon and then it'll pop out the other side just like that. See, how great is it? That's, what, that's why you need a book like this, because Dean's going to tell you about stuff you didn't know about before. Dean Regas, always a pleasure talking to you, man. Appreciate your time. Best of luck with the book. Get it uh, Amazon, uh, kind of all over the place. Where can it you get it? It is available tomorrow. tomorrow. So you guys have the scoop. This is it's available tomorrow. Everywhere even, you get books, not even ready check yet. it out. That's awesome. Good luck to you, buddy. Thank you. It's uh, 943. Let's do brunch. Next, First Watch is here, cooking up a specialty from their new seasonal menu. Whoa.